we are back with NCAA College Hoops 2K. So this is the definitive series that does not need a yearly iteration. College Hoops 2K. Today we are watching Jackson Ellis' USC Trojans take on a team that is not in the NCAA. They are going up against Lane College Dragons from Jackson, Tennessee. Basically, Jackson Ellis invited his old teammate who coaches this other team, he invited him out for a preseason game uh, to challenge his team. So the Lane College Dragons, they are up for the challenge. As you can see very early, they're up 6-0. But right here in this moment, <clears throat> our best player, Jonathan Briggs, uh, sophomore, about 6-7, takes off to give us our first two points and dunks it over three defenders. So that's the kind of aggressiveness I like. As you can see down there, uh, it just went away, the little overlay. Jonathan Briggs in his, in this little preseason is averaging 18.5 points right now. All right. So that's just preseason. Again, he is a sophomore. He's being very aggressive shooting a shot right now they're not falling so we're still down early and this lane college team is being very very aggressive also taking advantage of whatever they can get look at this fighting making the hustle plays getting the rebounds and this last rebound was just like a tip out and i don't like that because my center is actually seven foot but it just shows me i'm gonna have a tough time with with uh, the better teams who have better big guys. Like if I can't get that rebound over this guy from this school, again, grabbing a rebound over my center. So let's look at our center. Our center, his name is George Kalmushki. <laughs> George Kalmushki. Anyway, he's a seven foot senior, rocking number 12. And as you can see, he's getting out rebounded. And look at his score, two to 12. <clears throat> scores two to twelve. Uh, this right here, we'll say that stat is from last season. So you can see we're very highly ranked when it comes to fast break points last year. Not sure if we can do it again. Right there, I got stripped in the post by a much smaller defender. The player who got stripped is actually a shooting guard. Initially, when I watched this game, I thought he was like a power forward. But he's a 6'7 shooting guard, and in college, you got a shooting guard that big. You know, you, you're drooling over that. But anyway, speaking of fast break points, there we go. We just got fast break point. But um, back to my point about this, about this shooting guard, uh, the white ball head guy here. His name is, where is it? I know his last name is Peterson. He's six seven. Like I said, he has good size, but he got stripped in the post. And right there, he just fouled a guy much smaller than him instead of just standing on his feet and attempting to challenge the shot when he has much more height over that guy. All right, here we go. We go for a steal. We didn't get the steal. The guy who just dived on the floor for that steal is actually a freshman. And right now he's 18 years old, 6'8 freshman, playing the small four for our team. So again, good size for a college player playing the three. And you can see he has some hustle. He's taking the ball down, but he pulls up for a long range two. He settles again. That player is a freshman. I expect his IQ to increase and improve as the season goes along. Uncontested three. Look at his score, 22 to 32. Basically, I'm not liking what I'm seeing from uh, Coach Jackson Ellis's USC team. I don't know if it's the coaching or if it's the players, but they are getting killed, all right? Finally, we get an easy bucket. Again, our best all-around player, Jonathan Briggs, dumps it down to the post to our power forward, whose last name is Giannu. And he dunks it over a smaller defender, which is what you're supposed to do. Take advantage of that small defender. All right, so their point guard basically giving buckets to our point guard. Our point guard is in takeover mode, so he's not doing too bad himself. 
But I don't remember him doing anything while he was in takeover mode other than this right here, letting his takeover um, just wind down. So I, I that was kind of disappointing. Shoots a long contested three. I don't know. He's just a sophomore. So I don't think I've introduced our point guard. His name is Lenny Livingston, 6'3", 19-year-old sophomore. Um... But yeah, that was ill-advised three-pointer. He could have made something happen earlier when he was just holding the ball. So I don't think our backup shooting guard, Peterson, has any dribble moves. For whatever reason, in this lineup, who is my point guard? I don't know who my point guard is. So uh, anyway, our best player right now is playing defense. Pretty good defense. Not letting his man get too far in the post giving them a contested shot the freshman almost lost the ball there I believe this is another freshman at power four who just made that shot uh, he's a red shirt freshman there we go his last name is Haley so that power four is a he's coming off a year where he sat out this is his first year playing he was a red shirt last year so 15.5 points that's our point guard right there Lenny Livingston shooting 46 percent from the field but today he is getting lit up by this guy from lane college that guy his name is jackson sharp and as you'll see throughout this video he was the main culprit for eating our team up look at this again i told you guys that's our backup shooting guard he missed a post shot earlier now he misses two easy shots around the rim against a much smaller defender I already expressed my concerns with his dribbling. <clears throat> he is a 6'7". I can't remember if he's a junior, senior, sophomore. Uh, I, I think, I don't know. I'll have to look back later what I have him down as. Peterson with the ball again. He can't dribble, so he kicks it out. Lenny Livingston running around picks, running curls around picks. And this video is not looking like he's making any shots, but he did make some timely shots for us. And here we go. Lane College making easy moves to the basket. Easy, easy move. I guess one of the reasons why uh, that that little defense just collapsed was because we had our, our freshman small forward guarding him. Yeah, this guy, Peterson, he just won't dribble. I guess he can't dribble. Here we go, corner shot, bang. What I don't like about that shot is he doesn't have the sense to back up behind the three-point line, so he just takes a long two from the corner, and the three would've got us closer. We're still down very late in this game, less than a minute left in the game, and we, taken, we took a long two. All right, so finally, my center comes through, plays good defense, causes his man to miss the shot. Peterson, coming through finally so this guy's just a spot up shooter is what it looks like he doesn't need to hold the ball or anything like that oh man this man's trying to get fancy on me this guy jackson sharp been killing me all game and our point guard lenny livingston plays good defense makes a miss all right so i back up shooting guard peterson with his third shot in a row as you can see there he was basically basically on fire so i guess he's like a sharp shooter catch and shoot and he's more able to score so i have to make sure we never get this guy at coming in at point guard because the guy won't dribble he just stands and passes but when he catches and shoots he scores so well okay look at that coach he's upset we're up three now we should be able to put this game away we have the ball in our hands we get fouled um their their player who's been performing well He's highly upset. We make our two free throws, which I didn't show you. And it's only seconds left in this game. And this happens. Yes, the player who's been killing us all game hits a three to put them within two. This is our best all around player getting fouled here. He's shaking his head like, you know, they fouling me. It's nothing. I got this. I'm going to ice the game. He is our best all around player. So. We expect them to hit these free throws, but check this out. I noticed something. Watch their best, their best all-around player. He's talking trash right here. 
So our guy is focused up. I like that little trash talk. He hits the first shot. That's good. That puts us up by three. All we got to do, knock this down. He's the best player. He misses. And our seven foot center again fails to get the rebound at a crucial time. And then look at this. It looked like they were going to go for a quick, easy layup. Dish it back out to the same guy who's been killing us all game, Jackson Sharp. And he hits a three to take it to overtime. All right, so here's our best player, Jonathan Briggs, our sophomore shooting guard. He makes the first two points for us, and he did score in this overtime, so I guess that was his way of trying to show up since he missed that free throw. Uh, their best player, I think his name is Roscoe Wise, shoots a three, misses. And their best player, their best all-around player wasn't really showing up on offense, so I guess our guy, Jonathan Briggs, was kind of locking him down or whatever. We drive it in, try to draw contact, we miss the layup. And again, this guy Jackson, freaking sharp. I have to figure out what year that guy is because he's not in the NCAA. So maybe we can get that guy to transfer to our school next year or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he has a little brother we can recruit or something. Finally, Lenny Livingston makes Jackson Sharp pay. Jackson Sharp from Lane College, the guy who's been killing us, got caught up on a pick. Lenny Livingston had a little daylight and he made the shot. All right, so now they're shooting desperation shots, trying to catch back up. Uh, we're only up three. Lenny Livingston, our sophomore point guard, is now showing his clutch abilities, also taking over. So basically like two of our top players, our backcourt, is showing up now in overtime and Lane College they're missing a lot of shots right now Lenny Livingston he that was a heat check shot to see if he had it going all right so we should be able to definitely win this now Lenny Livingston playing that lockdown defense yeah not letting him get any daylight and they shoot a desperation shot so our backcourt, our starting backcourt of Lenny Livingston and our shooting guard, Jonathan Briggs, showed up in overtime to take the game for us. No more smiling for Lane College. They have now lost the game. And I know Jackson Ellis didn't like what he saw at first, but ultimately they came out with a win. Uh, our backup shooting guard showed us what he could do. He definitely can't dribble, but uh, he showed us what he can do. And all right, that's it for this game. So what we're going to do is we're going to kick it to the next video. Make sure you guys check out the next video. We're going to be doing some recruiting, looking at the recruiting class stats. If you want to see stats, make sure you check out the stats there. But check out one of these videos, either recruiting or stats. Check it out, guys. Till next time. I'm gone.